we are on Long Lake, back again where I ended section one last time. We got quite a late start, which I guess is a story for later. But right now, we are going to go try to hopefully find an unoccupied lean-to or somewhere to camp for the night. And then, by the time we get all that done, it'll probably be time to eat something and then maybe get out and do some fishing. But for right now, we're going to concentrate on paddling and getting where we got to go. Found the lean-to here on Long Lake that we're going to stay at tonight. Just going to unload the gear get the canoe out of the water so it's not bouncing on the rocks and then uh then see what we're gonna do from there but right now I'm just gonna be getting this stuff out we have quite a lot of stuff but stephanie i think like i mentioned is going home tomorrow so a lot of this is going back with her and it's gonna be the bare minimum with me well as bare minimum as i get i like to eat i still like to eat good so you know that weighs me down but i'm gonna get my stuff up Been a while since we stayed in the lean-to, huh? Hammocks and... Yeah, it's been all hammocks. Pretty nice setup here. I always love staying in these. These are by far... This is my, this is my favorite way to camp, for sure. My first few days... Well, my first two days are not going to be super remote as you can probably already hear it's quite a bit of motorboat traffic out there on long lake and we're only a couple miles up from the town launch itself here but figured i shouldn't get too far since stephanie has to go home tomorrow it's a real nice spot though looks like it's located right along the northville placid trail there i saw the blue markers leading up to the lean-to itself there. Got the canoe stashed up here for now. Mostly everything's up there. The rest of this is mostly fishing or canoeing stuff that'll stay down here. But uh, yeah, I'm real excited to be back on the uh, Northern Forest Canoe Trail. Feel, it feels like I'm just picking it right up where I left off, which I basically am. It's awesome. So I was just over here processing some firewood and I figured I could go over what it is that I use to do that. So for my saw, I have this, the Agua Canyon, I believe it's called, Boreal 21 folding saw. I've got this little case here, this little leather, not leather, canvas pouch that the saw goes right down this pocket back here. My axe is just off Amazon, a Marbles outdoor axe. Sharpened her up myself at home to a pretty, pretty good sharpness here. I put a leather guard on it that I also ordered on Amazon. And the face that goes over the axe itself. And just like the saw, the axe goes right inside here. Oh, drop the face off it. I didn't have it tied on. This goes over here, ties it up. Then usually this goes over my shoulder or gets strapped to the big bag there. And she goes right on the carry with me. Makes it pretty easy. They're both fairly compact, but always get the job done out here for me. I'm never without a nice fire at night. A lot of mosquitoes right here at this lean-to. But, yeah, that is what I use. It's about 6.30 right now, so I'm going to start working on dinner for me and Stephanie here. 
going to be kielbasa with pierogies, like I mentioned. I just got to get my stove and uh, various things out of here. Wind has calmed right down, so out we go. Gonna try to catch some pike out here, or maybe some bass. We'll see. We'll see what's biting. I got on a Meps bucktail spinner right now. My other pole that's not put together right now has a whopper plopper on, and Stephanie has a smaller Meps bucktail on. And we're gonna start with that in this little back bay that we're in here. See how that goes. And then uh, maybe check out some of the surrounding area while we got time. Really is beautiful out here. I know I say it on every lake I'm on, but this is great. Not sure if the camera can see it, but the moon looks wicked cool up there. So no luck out here fishing tonight. We got out, it seemed pretty favorable, but uh, they did not want to cooperate with us tonight. I tossed the whopper plopper and I tossed, besides the Meps bucktail there, I also tossed a lipless crankbait for a while out here. Eh, just nothing but weeds right now. I'll try again tomorrow before she goes home maybe. And then, uh, I'll be moving up further down the lake there. I'm gonna spend another day here fishing on Long Lake because I've wanted to fish this for a while and missed the chance I had to last time. So, yeah, I'm gonna head back, get the fire going, warm up, hang out in the lean-to. I know I said it earlier, but I, I love sleeping in those. I'm, I'm excited for that later. I know the GoPro's terrible in the low light, but you got a pretty nice fire going. I got some water boiling on the behind this log here. Stephanie hanging out in the lean-to. Yeah, it's so much darker on the camera than it actually is in here. I know, I got a big light behind me. It's pretty nice in here. Stephanie and I just waking up here on day two. Gonna probably get something to drink and eat together here. And then see what we're gonna do. You still wanna fish today? Alright, we'll see. I gotta get something to eat though. I'm starving. Turned into a pretty beautiful morning though so far. The most beautiful part of the morning. <laughs> All right, you hungry? Looks like we had the perfect coals left on the fire here. These eggs are cooking up pretty good. How did yours come out? Nice. Yeah, usually, usually we uh, we end up with a totally cold fire by the morning, so I must have set it up perfect last night. Yeah, it's true, half the time it is put out by the rain. Let's 
just getting all our gear packed up here. Made sure to douse out and dig and make sure that fire was completely out. And now just kind of getting our stuff together. <laughs> Spilled some water here, of course. Filled out our entry in the logbook. Now I better help Stephanie get everything together. Got the last of our stuff packed up here. Lean to is all cleaned up. We'll try to leave it as good as we found it. Fire's out. Just gotta grab our fishing poles here. Stephanie's got the garbage. So we're bringing Stephanie back to the car right now. She has to go to work tomorrow and for the rest of the week, so she cannot join me on the full journey. But she got a night of camping out there. Did you have fun? Yeah. That's good. And now we are just making our way back to where we launched from. And then I am paddling 11 miles total back that way after we count in paddling this way and then back up so that should be interesting probably eating my boat and my lunch in the boat today probably eating my boat today <laughs> begins in earnest. I've got a line out trolling a small about two inch perch diver behind the boat right now. I just saw Stephanie off and I am about to paddle I believe I, I believe I'm about to paddle nine miles up this lake right now. So it's probably gonna be around lunchtime that I arrive at my campsite if not later kind of late in the day right now you know it's funny I just realized the wind not only the direction but the speed is also about the same as where I left off on section one last time in June I uh, I was paddling in this same direction trying to come up the lake against the wind here with it in my face the only big difference now is this Winona cut right through the water. Unlike the Radisson, the Radisson's an amazing fishing boat, but she is slow. And this Winona Solo Plus, this thing, I'm barely using any effort and I'm flying forward right into the wind, which for me is a completely foreign idea here because even in this light wind here, I mean, this isn't that heavy. But this would be enough to slow the Radisson down to like a one mile per hour crawl. So, this is amazing. I'm going to make great time coming up this lake here. Some beautiful camps all along the way. Some beautiful rocks, birds. It was really nice having Stephanie out here with me. I wish so bad she could come on the entire leg of the journey with me. But, sadly, work keeps her home. So, I'm just paddling up now. I've only made about a mile, a mile's progress since my last check-in with the video here. Nothing, uh, nothing on my trolling line yet, but I'm moving through pretty shallow water. I believe the pike fishing is going to get a bit better up on the north side of this lake where it gets a little bit deeper. So, I'm looking forward to that, looking forward to finding a lean-to. And, uh... Looking forward to some lunch eventually. It's two eggs for breakfast. Uh, can only do you so good.
think I got a bass on here. I did. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those jumps. Not huge, but he put up a great fight, splashing, jumping out of the water. It's a nice little smallmouth. More than happy to catch a few of those along the way. There you go. Yeah, that's a good first fish. I'm happy with that. Well, I'm, I guess I'm lying to you. That's technically not my first fish. I didn't put it on camera. I caught a tiny little perch trolling through here and didn't even bother putting that in. But uh, we can pretend smallmouth bass, first fish of the trip, right? <laughs> I still got about seven more miles to paddle, I believe, till I get to where I want to camp tonight. But uh, I'm more than happy to break up the paddling with a fish now and then, if that's how it's gonna go. So let's see if we can keep up that momentum. Just landed at a nice little campsite here. I'm not gonna be staying. Still got some miles to cover today, but I need something to eat. So, brought the barrel up here. Gonna dig a quick little something to eat out of it. And then I'm gonna keep making miles here. I'm about halfway up the lake, I'd say, from where I started. I'll actually point it out on the map. So I am right here right now at Kelly Point. Started way down here off the map. It's where I left Stephanie. And I wanted to get way up here somewhere today. And it's a real nice day for it. I still got a lot of sun, a lot of light. And I'm just gonna make this a real quick lunch. Drink my last can of Coke, savor that as best I can. And then back out there. No other fish since that smallmouth. But uh, I'm confident I'll get some more up there. What a great little spot to have lunch here. I've got my own basically little beach to myself here. Just hanging out. Still feeling good. About to do the old classic tortilla with peanut butter and jam here. And I'm gonna get that down. It's only, it's only 2.15 in the afternoon here. So, still got plenty of day ahead of me to fish and get to the other end of the lake there. That lunch was very much needed. Oh, that was good. Between the can of Coke and the, uh, the uh, wrap itself, I have all my energy back. I feel like I can paddle all the way to the end of this lake and back now. Starting to get a little gas there after a while. I guess it was just because I didn't eat really much of a breakfast, so. I'm back off here. Not super far to go. I estimate I should probably, oh, another hour and a half, like I was saying earlier, and I'll probably be at a campsite here. So, I'm just gonna power through that. Well, not power through it. I mean, this is a beautiful lake. It was some amazing sights along the way. Just seen some loons running around, swimming around the boat. And, it's just been a great start. I know yesterday was technically the start, but uh, today really feels like it since I had to go back and then basically traverse this all again that I already paddled. So it's good. Like I was, I think I said it yesterday, it feels like I'm picking right up where I left off. This, it, it's, it's like I'm just starting. Like, I guess that's the whole point of section paddling it like this, you know? It, uh, it's a great feeling to be back out here doing this. Just landed the canoe here at what is going to be my site for the night. Took a couple bags out. Pretty nice lean-to up here. Took a quick look at it when I first landed.
Nice little spot tucked back here. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's even got one of the privies. A couple big chunks of wood in the fire. Those will burn up. Looks good though. Again, oh, it smells so good. Just got out here making a few casts now, seeing if I can pick anything up. Wind's still up a little bit, but it's gonna die down quick. So, right now just tossing, tossing the go-to whopper plopper in some of these bays and then I'm going to work my way out with the map spinner a little later trying to get, some, get into some pike action maybe. And just trying to see if anything will come along here. No fish yet, but it is a really nice night out here. I uh, trolled over the top of the real deep section of the lake over here where it gets down to like 50 feet uh, with a couple deep divers just to see if I could pick up anything there. Nothing. So I'm going to move in towards the shores now and I'm going to start throwing some more spinner baits and some more top water. And I should find something. I mean, whether it be a bass, I'd really like to catch some pike. I. I don't know what my problem is the last couple years. I've not been catching the pike like I used to when I was younger. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure really what's up with that. But there's supposed to be really nice pike here. So I would like to at least get one before I leave, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm getting right up on the shoreline now. I'm back into like 13 feet of water. So I'm going to start casting towards that and see if I can make anything happen.
looking really beautiful on day three here. Just woke up. It was sprinkling a bit this morning, and I was pretty tired after paddling the entire length of Long Lake, so I sort of rested in. It's about 8 o'clock now. I'm going to start getting ready, try to get something in me to eat, and then I'm making my way to the Racket River. And I'm actually going to, I think, try to tackle the... Uh, the Racket Falls carry today. I think it's like a 1.3 mile carry. I uh, I would love to just end up on the other side of that and not have to worry about it tomorrow. But we'll see. No, well, I don't know why I say we'll see. I'm definitely motivated to go do that. So, huh? Everything's secure and dry. It did sprinkle a bit last night despite it not being in the forecast, so glad I've learned my lesson and started flipping the canoe every night, no matter what the conditions. Lean-to's up there with some of the sun poking through the trees. That looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to get my stuff together, get on the move. Multitasking here a little bit. Simultaneously eating, packing, changing clothes. And getting ready to head out. It's looking to be a real nice day for it. I was worried when it started uh, sprinkling a little bit in the middle of the night there. I was like, oh no, what am I in for today? But, well, this is nice. I can deal with this. Just got to douse the fire still. I mean, it looks out, but I throw water on it every time anyway. And then we're out of here. Getting all my gear down to the water now, and then I'm gonna load up the canoe. I just finished some blueberry granola with milk and blueberries. And uh, I cannot believe how heavy the food barrel still is. I thought I ate a decent amount of food already, and I don't know, I think feels like it weighs just as much as it did at the start. So, yeah, today might be a little bit of a tough one. I believe that carry I gotta do is like 1.3 miles. Not terrible, but you know, when you add in that I bring a bunch of fishing gear with me and that I like to try to eat a little decently, it's heavy, <laughs> but I can't complain. Empty right now. I'm gonna get her in the water once all the gear's down here, start setting it in, and then off we go. All right. Looks like we got everything in the canoe. I double checked it up there. Fire's out. Lean to's even cleaner than when I found it. I swept it out a little bit. Everything loaded in. Got an even balance in here. And we are gonna set off. Try to be very delicate with this thing. From what I've read, the stuff these ultralight canoes are made of, or at least this one, is pretty delicate. And I'd hate to put a hole in it. And I hate getting water in it, so I always usually dump these water shoes out and end up barefoot when I'm paddling. I got all the rod holders attached, so I'm gonna troll my way slowly right down this thing, right to the Racket River. And then I'm gonna switch from trolling to throwing some spinners and some top water and a couple different things when I'm there. But uh, off we go. What a beautiful morning to set out. Not, almost no breeze out here. The water is completely still and calm. This is gonna be a great paddle. We got something. Head shakes. What is this? Come on, let this be a northern. 
Yes! Yes! Let's turn this podcast off. All I wanted out of Long Lake was a northern. I'm so happy. Come on, stay on. Oh. Well, that was a good fish. I can't complain about that. I would have loved to have got him on the camera there, but uh, yeah, I didn't have my net quite handy. I should have. I've had no luck fishing yet while coming down this river, except uh, a bit back there, I had tossed the maps out and I saw a gigantic northern follow it right back to the boat. I gave it a couple twitches, but I guess he wasn't interested. I've been varying up a couple different things I've been throwing out here. The MEPS is on that one. I got the Whopper Plopper back on that one, but I tried the 360 search bait for a while. And I was trying with the Rapala X-Wrap here and got nothing with either of those. It seems like, I don't know, it seems like maybe the maps was the best so far with that one follow, but I've had nothing since. And I don't really, I don't expect much out of the Whopper Plopper at this time of day, but it's pretty weedy back here and tough to throw much else. But I'm gonna keep trying, still got a ways to go until I get to the carry. And uh, I'm just gonna keep fishing my whole way down there. See what I can do. square stonework. Beautiful little paddle down this river though. Wish I could get into some fish on it, but uh, just that one follow so far. at me for what what that was awesome I think that was an otter it is an otter look at this playful little character
just pick something up here. Splash it. And I, uh, I'm assuming this is a small one. But the way he's jumping. Oh, he's oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a small mouth. Good size. Remember earlier how I said I couldn't find my net? It was right next to me the entire time. Come here. There we go. Nice little racket river smallmouth. Put up a real good fight. Jump in, splash in. All right. Yeah, he was ready to go. Swam right off. Oh, finally got a hook up on the whopper plopper. How am I gonna do this? Oh, he got off. Oh my God, that's awful. I would have to guess that that is a chunk of someone's canoe that maybe tried to go over the falls or through the rapids. I don't know. That's a damn good deterrent, though, to tell you not to run them. Looks like a couple other people on the carry right now. Their boats are here. I'm going to start getting my stuff together. I had to stop and eat some food before doing the next carry. That's brutal. There's a lot of uphill on that uh, on that Racket Falls carry. And my bags were pretty heavy. So I stopped, had another wrap with peanut butter and jam, some pink lemonade, and I've got some energy back to me now, so I feel good. I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, the lean-to I thought I was going to get is taken. There's plenty of open campsites, but also another lean-to not too far down the river. So, kind of deciding what I want to do there. Excuse me, just burped. But, uh, well, we'll see once all the gear's over there. Either, either way, the gear's all got to get to the other end of this trail. So, that's what I'll handle now, and then we'll see about paddling more today or not. No. Alright, so I know there's been a little bit of a jump in the video here. This is actually day four now. Last night when I couldn't find a campsite, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do there. And a group of guys let me share one of their tent sites. So I was able to set up, but out of courtesy to them, I didn't film anything else for the night. But I got to hang out, eat, have a fire, do all that stuff. And now I am... I got all my stuff loaded up and I'm getting ready to head back out.
Alright, so I'm back on the Racket River here. I know, like I was saying earlier, I did not film anything else last night after doing that carry. Uh, I was just so thankful that those guys let me share their sight. I didn't, uh, I didn't want to be bothering them with talking into the camera or anything. And as it got, after I was done eating and everything, it was dark and there was nothing to see. What was pretty cool is uh, two separate deer came right up to the campsite we were at and were very interested and not super scared of me. Uh, I got pretty close. The GoPro's battery was dead at the time, but I think I got a couple pictures on my camera. And, uh, yeah, I just woke up early today. It's been raining since I woke up. Checked the satellite. It seemed to indicate that it's just going to keep raining. So, back heading down the river. Going to make my way to Stony Creek Ponds today. Trolling a little perch-colored Rapala behind me because that got me some bites yesterday while moving through here. I don't know if I'll be doing a ton of casting while moving through the river as long as it keeps raining on me. Hopefully that's a jet I hear off in the distance and not thunder. Because otherwise I'm going to have to get right back off the water. But for now, I mean, it's not raining that hard. I'm pretty dry underneath here. All my stuff's dry. So, I'm just going to keep making my way. So as I'm sure you can see, the rain really started picking up on me out there. It was no longer light or even have any sign of lightening up. It, re it seemed like it was just going to get heavier and heavier. So I made it about halfway to where I wanted to get to, saw this lean-to, and the thought of some warm food and a warm drink was just too tempting to pass up. So I flipped the canoe upside down, brought all my stuff up here. I'm not going to set up for the day. Because if it does happen to lighten up, I do want to make some more progress than this. I mean, I only got about, half, like I said, half the distance I wanted to go today. So, if it lightens up on me, I'm definitely going to try to make the rest of the way to Stony Creek. But I figured this lean-to is perfect for drying out stuff like the rain fly to my tent there. Uh, that's really the only thing that got wet last night. I mean, the life jacket's bound to get wet. Everything else stayed right in the tent with me, stayed very dry. I can't say good enough things about this little backpacking tent that I've got here. What is this? The Mountain Summit Gear Northwood Series 2 two-person backpacking tent. Uh, so with, with two people in it, when me and Stephanie use it, there's no room for gear in it, just literally the two people. But a solo trip like this, I fit everything in there with me. So when it started raining last night, everything was dry. I was basically able to pack everything up inside the tent this morning and get it all inside dry bags and everything. The only problem is it's one of those tents where the rain fly goes on after the actual tents come up. So it's, that needs to be fixed. I need to buy a tent that the rain fly deploys with the tent or something like that. Or I guess just get in the habit of setting up a tarp above me before doing that. But uh, either way, for now, I'm dry. I'm going to change my clothes. I, uh, I'm still wearing what I basically wore to bed. So I'm going to change it out of that. Get, uh, get some food in me. A warm drink in me. And then check the Zolio and see what the weather says. Making up a quick lunch of mac and cheese here. I stopped, like I said, had myself a nice hot chocolate that really got me feeling good and motivated and warm. And, uh, looks like the rain is going to let up, or at least let up enough for me to set off again, you know? And perhaps I can cover the miles that I thought I was going to miss today. It really is a shame, though. I immediately became torn about even leaving when seeing what a beautiful sight this is. I mean, it's a great lean-to, nice and dry. A little chair here. Some wood that someone left, not a ton. There's a nice privy back there. It looks like recently built up or, or taken care of or redone. And uh, it's just a really, really nice looking spot where I almost, almost don't wanna 
go. And even reading in the little lean-to logbook there, it's talking about there being good pike fishing right in front of the lean-to here by the water. And I... Oh, it's just such a hard decision because I know I could easily make up the miles tomorrow and yesterday was kind of rough so I could use it as a rest but I don't know but yeah you can see a nice little landing here some steps that you go up this beautiful racket river slowly moving by here it's tempting. It's really tempting to stay. I don't know. We'll see after I eat. Started making my way back down the river and uh, we got something on the Whopper Plopper here. What is this? What do we got here? Nice bass? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice bass. Like a smallmouth. I can't tell yet. Oh yeah, he's a smallie. Nice little racket river smallmouth. Not big, but you know. He sure smashed that whopper plopper. Put up a hell of a bite. That was a good one. As you can tell, it kind of pretty much stopped raining at this point, so I'm just cruising along, making my way to... I think I'd like to stay at the lean-to towards the end of this rather than on Stony Creek itself, but we'll see. It's taken. I'll just set the tent up at Stony Creek Ponds. But, uh, yeah, keep on fishing. We got another one. Ooh, he's jumping. I love that. Oh my God, is this a bigger one? Wow, he's really pulling. Be a large mouth. It is a large mouth. Nice. A really nice size large mouth for a uh, body of water like this for sure. Not too bad. That's a nice largemouth to catch in a river like this. Off you go, buddy. Nice. Just had a little fall fish here, grab my trolling lure. Eh, good size to him. Catch those all the time at night at Seventh Lake when I'm trying to bullhead. Oh, looks like we got another bass here, probably. Oh, yeah. They are crushing the whopper plopper on the Racket River today. Bad largey there. Look at this though. It's got some kind of injury on the gill there. Uh, or disease? I don't know what that is. Weird. Another nice largemouth though. 
really enjoying my time on the Racket River here. Maybe a little too much. It's getting a little late in the day. I probably should move on. Although, to be fair, the river kind of just carries me where I'm trying to go. So, the wind's blowing in the same way the river's flowing. So, not much I have to do besides sit here and cast out the whopper plopper and uh, get the occasional bite. We got another good one. Oh, he got off! No! Oh. The lean-to was indeed taken. I had a bit of a feeling it would be with how many people I saw ahead of me. So, I'm making my way down to Stony Creek Ponds now. I have listed here, it looks like there might be a campsite in between here and there, which I might take because I'm starting to get hungry again. But, let's see. I mean... I'm able to just plow through here quick and get to where I was supposed to be. That would be fine too. It's really beautiful going through here. I love these stretches where it's all marshy like this. It makes for real fun paddling. Usually pretty good fishing too. The sky is real gray above me, which has made me kind of want to make me feel like maybe I should not be fishing as much though and just be trying to make distance, but... Oh, I just can't seem to stop myself. I see some of these nice holes and points and corners, and I'm like, oh, there's got to be something there. And as you've seen, many times there is. I cannot believe how many fish I've lost, though, this trip. That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I uh, had a couple of them right up next to the boat here, even, and somehow spit the hook right back at me. That last bass I had on that got off, I don't even know how that happened. There was never, like, slack on the line. But, oh, well, you know? I don't know. I feel like I'm hitting it's half the fun anyway, so... Who cares? And, yeah, let's just hope we can beat some rain, huh? Knock on wooden gunnels. We are on Stony Creek Ponds. It didn't take me long at all. Just shot right through there, not a single beaver dam, nothing blocking me. That was easy. And now I've just got a line out trolling, making my way to the other side of pretty much the far, far side of where I came in. And I'm gonna try to find a campsite over there. And then get some food. do some fishing. really love to get into a few more pike. I had that one on Long Lake and then that one really big one that followed my knobs back to the boat. That, that was discouraging but still plenty of pike water in between here and my finish so hopefully we'll get into a few.
This ain't such a bad campsite. Looks like it's gonna be tough to find wood, but uh, I'll scrounge some up. What is that, like a double wide privy? guy hanging out in the fire here yes be gone so I don't burn you all right tents all set up I have it all open right now to air out a bit and I'm gonna make something to eat thinking maybe spaghetti some potatoes on the side that would be pretty good and since I'm all set up I figure I might as well partake and a little bit of step two, as Steve Wallace calls it. So looking at the Northern Forest Canoe Trail map, I am down right here. The carry takes me right over to here, and I wanted to camp at one of these four so I could fish a little bit of the southern end of Upper Saranac. So I'm in no rush tomorrow, covering a very, very short distance. And then... I mean, the main leg of my journey is really complete when you look at it. I started way down here. We came all the way up Long Lake. I went down the Racket River here, portaged around the falls. I got to check out that DEC interior outpost, which apparently used to be... Oh, no, it's listed in the legend here. The DEC interior outpost is at the former site of Mother Johnson's, a crude log house where... Philander and Lucy Johnson hosted sportsmen and loggers from 1858 to 1890. Author W.H.H. H. Murray instructed readers to never go by Mother Johnson's without tasting her pancakes. And when you leave, leave her an extra dollar. That was really cool, checking that out. And then I had lunch at the Palmer Brook lean-to there. And then continued all the way down. Was hoping to get one of the lean-tos over here, but that's where it was taken. And then into here. And like I said, I'm in that back little site in that northeast bay. Campsite number five, I guess, according to the camp here disc and the number beneath it. It's really nice. It's got this picnic table. A really well-built fire pit. A grate there for cooking on. Love to catch a northern to cook on top of that. But, uh, yeah, I gotta get some food together, gather up some wood, and then, uh, and we'll see what's going on from there. And there we go. Dinner is served. Some instant mashed potatoes, and some spaghetti, and pasta sauce. Just gotta stir that up. Oh, it all smells so good. I'm gonna dig in while it's still warm, and then hopefully... Have a chance to get out there and fish before it gets too dark. Uh, I didn't have a ton of time to fish out there, and I only had one blow up. 
I missed it, and there was no other action till a, and came in about 8:45. Got the fire going. I'm gonna probably have a hot chocolate or something like that. Hang out, and I'm gonna try to get up early and see if maybe I can get into some fishing here. I thought I read that there might be walleye in here, and not frequently, but I would like to at least try, see if I can get something in the, to happen in the morning, or, you know, pike, bass, anything. Would be really interested in the pike or walleye, though. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me. catching out here in this lake or pond. I've had a few blow-ups that seemed better than this, but nothing on the end of the line. I really feel like those ones that don't take it under here, that have been like not been taking it under and have just been attacking it, I really feel like those might be pike, because that really feels like pike behavior where they'll out of agitation hit something because it like with the whopper plopper here when I was casting that out you can clearly tell when it's a bass because they grab it and take it underwater whereas these other blow-ups I've been having out here it's like something's just trying to scare it off or something like that I'm not sure so just drying all my stuff out it rained a little bit last night, and uh, I had the barrel open when it happened, so a couple things got wet. But it's a real quick matter of drying it out this morning with my little camp towel and the little microfiber towel that I carry. Got some granola with milk and blueberries for breakfast. Just gonna add some water to that. Start packing up the tent and my stuff, loading up the canoe, and we're gonna be off to Indian Carry today. It's a little bit of a long one again, but um, from what I understand, the second half of it's much easier than the first half, and I should even be able to wheel the canoe, which I would prefer doing until I get the actual Winona yoke, because these clamps here really dig into that thin hull on the kayak, or on the canoe there, and I don't like the noise that it makes when I'm walking with the canoe on my shoulders. It, sounds like it's gonna rip in half so I assume that's not good I don't have to worry about it anymore after this trip though I already saw earlier in the week that the yoke that I ordered for it came in I ordered it with two day air through FedEx and it ended up taking them four days which always happens when I use FedEx so I think if I can avoid it I'm going to try to not have anything shipped with FedEx again because Time after time, they've guaranteed that something was going to be here at a certain time, and it was not. And at this point, it's actually, like, starting to affect me tripping and doing stuff. So, that's annoying. But, yeah. Going to get all that done, and then head out. Alright. I'm all loaded up, and I'm off. The carry is actually not super far. I can literally see it from here, and my campsite's just right there. I was right there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna paddle over. I'm gonna troll over slowly with a couple of these uh, Rapalas and see if I can make something happen before I leave here. Because uh, I would love to catch something bigger than just one of those little baby bass on this pond, but uh, eh, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time worried about it. 
So, well, Upper Saranac Lake today. Here we go. Hey, we got some. Right. Oh yeah. Nice small mouth, I think. He's all wrapped in my line. Eh, a little bit bigger. He felt a lot bigger on the end of the line, that's for sure. I'll take it though. I asked for a fish. I got one. Here we are. Next part of the carry. No new forest canoe trail. <clears throat> Just gonna get everything unloaded up here on shore and then gonna get moving. All right, Upper Saranac. Back into society, I suppose. Oh, man. That carry took a lot out of me. I felt a lot longer than 1.1 miles. And that was only the first load. I gotta go back for the rest. <clears throat> Wow, I am thrilled. The first site I came to here is not only not taken, but it's beautiful. I get the tent set up somewhere up here. I'm not sure where yet. Probably over there somewhere. Someone left some firewood there. And then check this out. Oh man. This is amazing. I'm gonna have to go for a swim. I stink. I know it. I could. I could tell. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to go for a swim today. But first, I need some real food. For lunch, I basically ate half the bag of trail mix. Brought the hammock. Well, I'm all set up and rested here. I took a little bit of a power nap, like 45 minutes after I got the site all set up. I was completely beat after that carry in here today and then the one before that at Racket Falls, those were those were two tough ones for sure. At least with the amount of gear I've got solo, that uh, that took a lot out of me. But I'm feeling great now. It's definitely looking like I might be able to fish tonight. And I'm just all set up here. I've got the tent all set up. Everything in here the way I wanted. I got my my uh, Northern Forest Canoe Trail map. My Nemo Tempo 20 degree sleeping bag, which I don't know, hasn't actually been overkill on this trip, to be honest. 
I've got the uh, Big Agnes, I think extra long and extra wide sleeping pad there. Air, the Big Agnes Air Core, I think it is. And uh, it's it's really comfortable and warm. And I'm kind of just settled in right now. I made some chili and some pink lemonade for dinner here. Been hanging out, just listening to some audiobooks. So I got all my dishes done and some food in me here. And I finally got a chance to get out on the water and actually try some fishing. I'm gonna start out by trolling some of this deeper water, you know, 20, 15 to 30 feet, moving in and around there. And uh, as it gets a little darker, if nothing's producing that way, I'm gonna start casting the whopper plopper all along the shore back here, all toward, back towards my campsite. Maybe this island right in front of me a little bit too. And uh, see what we can do. So far the bottom structure, according to this depth finder, which I have no idea if I can trust or not, says it's real rocky around here where I am. So uh, I don't know how that'll play into things, but uh, uh, I'll give the old trolling a try first and we'll go from there. Got some bass. I could see him jumping back there already. Wow, that was awesome! Right on camera. Get off, did he? Oh no, he did not. That's a good one. Let's not add this to the lost fish uh, record of this trip. Oh, he's a good one. That's a real nice small mouth. That's a nice smallie. Not huge, but you know, that was great. Oh, wow, what? Huh. Look at some of these black spots he's got on him. I don't think I often see that. I don't know if the camera will pick them up. He's covered in these crazy black spots on his fins, on his gill coverings. inside his mouth. I wonder if this is a disease or something. Huh. Nice fish though. Off he goes. I don't know if the GoPro can see it, but it's actually turning into two rainbows. I don't mean to be the double rainbow guy or anything, but that's so cool. Oh man. Wow. What an 
awesome night. As you can see, it's raining out there, quite a decent bit. And I'm not able to get to my campsite on Middle Saranac until 2 p.m. because during the summer they have to be reserved and you have to check in at a certain time and everything. So right now I'm just kind of hanging out under the tent. Uh, I'm gonna do some reading, listen to some podcasts, eat some food kind of just hold tight till noon when I'm gonna make my way over there I really would rather not go out there and fish in the rain and just get poured on and soaked I don't know I don't, know, I don't mind taking a little bit of a rest after yesterday and uh, recovering a bit and then making my way over so yeah that's my morning I got the canoe all loaded up Everything is in it, and we are ready to head off to Middle Saranac Lake. I just gotta drain the water from my shoes. I don't wanna fill the boat up with it right off the bat. Take too long to reach the carry here. Got some of my gear out. Sign up there, just tell me to go right when I get to the road. And yeah, just gonna unload some stuff, see how wheelable this is, and then I'm on my way. All right, first load of gear is across. Wasn't bad at all. This looks like nice fishing back here. I'm gonna have to take my time. <laughs> All these lily pads and uh, weeds back here. That looks nice and bassy and pikey. But I gotta go back and get the rest of my stuff. Should probably do it in two trips. I think I can wheel this uh, wheel this carry. It gets a little dicey here in the woods, but it ain't bad. So huh? let's get that done. I love anytime I can wheel the canoe. Oh, it makes it so much easier, but it's so rare. I don't know, it's almost not worth bringing the wheels. I got to use them on what, two carries? The rest had to be on my shoulder? I don't know. Feels like more of a hassle to bring them than I guess, just for this 15 minutes of making things easier. But, yeah, about to get there and uh, see what the fishing's like. Hopefully good. Yeah, I couldn't, I didn't get anything fishing back there and I am soaked to the bone, so I'm making my way to my campsite now. I don't think I'm far. Ugh, this has been a rough trip as far as rain goes. I just, I don't know, it just seems to have been raining on me since Monday, essentially. I hope it lets up a little bit, I'd really like to get out there and like do some real fishing. I don't know, I just 
fishing in the, these conditions like this just it doesn't appeal to me. That little bay back there that I came in, it was calm. I was able to cast back there with no problem, but out here in the waves, I don't know, I'm just gonna get thrown around. I'm soaked through all my clothes. I'd like to just get in, set up a camp, get a warm drink in me, and then go from there. Made it to the campsite. I immediately threw the tarp up the second I got here. Needed something to be able to get under and get dry. But I took a look around. Place is very nice. There's some wood here. All sorts of uh, stumps you could sit on around the fire. And a uh, really nice view. I took a look at the privy it seems to be pretty pretty well maintained pretty clean there's a picnic table here I've got some of my stuff up here and I'm just gonna work on getting settled in now for the day get a tent set up get dry change out of these wet clothes get some warm food and drink in me and then I'm gonna go from there so I got myself changed into some warm clothes made a hot spiced apple cider to drink and I'm cooking up some beef stew for dinner right now. And yeah, uh, just hanging out under the tarp. I got everything set up the way I want it. It's still raining out there. I would love for it to stop a little bit towards dark so I could actually get out there and fish a bit. I saw some really nice spots along the way, but I just got so soaked coming here that I just needed to get set up like this and get settled in. And uh, now that I am, I'm kind of just puttering around, getting everything together exactly the way I want it, drying bags off and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. Had a little bit of an injury today. Not huge, uh, but I went to go stomp down with my foot thinking it wouldn't be a big deal driving down the stake, one of the stakes for this tarp with my foot because I didn't have the axe up here to hit it with the blunt end. And I was just like, oh, I'll drive it down with my foot. And I guess there was a rock or a root or something there, and I did it a little harder than I should have because the, the top of the stake went right through the bottom of my boot and cut into my foot. And uh, yeah, I threw a Band-Aid on it and cleaned it up and some antibiotic cream and all that. So it's going to be fine. I can walk just fine. I'm sure I'll still be able to carry my gear just fine. It uh, was definitely a surprising moment though I can't believe that it drove itself through the bottom of these thick boots like that I guess I'm gonna have to maybe look at getting a new pair I mean these aren't super expensive or super fancy or anything like that but they've served me for about a year of use I don't know I guess maybe just bad luck what yeah I can't wait to eat well despite the rain and the wet I've got a fire going here Whoever camped here last left these big, huge splits of firewood. So I was able to take those, use the axe, and break a bunch down into kindling, some bigger stuff. And yeah, we got that going, even with a slight rain still coming down on me. But it's very dry and warm over here. Gonna make a hot chocolate, a s'more, and then settle down into bed. The weather forecast looks better for tomorrow, so gonna hopefully get out there early in the morning and fish and see what we've got lying in the middle of Saranac Lake. But, yeah, it's just been another great night. Even with the rain, there was a pretty decent sunset. Kind of obscured by the clouds, but it's been great. Every part of this trip's been worth it, even the tough parts. Well, it's not raining. Awesome. Get something to drink and eat and go fish. Alright, 
So we're all loaded up, and I have four hours until I check into my next campsite. So, get up there and fish. Weather's oh, looking nice, it's overcast, but uh, I don't have a problem with that. Slept great last night. Really settled into the whole groove, moving, setting up, making food and sleeping and everything. I just feel like I'm in a total, in like a total routine here. It's great. And I'm glad to have some time to fish this morning. I scouted a few places out, looking from the campsite out here at a few things I saw that look interesting. So, see if we can make something happen. Hey, we got one on the Whopper Plopper. Ooh, good one. Not huge. I mean, you know, I'm, I kind of got spoiled by that Spy Lake trip, but uh, it's a nice little smallmouth. Fought real hard. Jumping all over the place. Off you go. It's a great way to start the day. Nice little smallmouth. Wow. He's a jumper. Again, not huge, but uh, he was sure jumping and splashing, putting up a fight. Go on and get bigger, buddy. Two casts later, we got another one. Oh, this one seems a little bit bigger. Eh, maybe not too much bigger. I guess I should have left the one. GoPro running. He, uh, he flopped out of my hand the second I had him off the hook before I could turn the camera on. It was a little bit better, but uh, yeah, this is some great action to start the day off with. Three smallmouth and not, not too many casts. I'm going to keep at it. I've been fishing. I'll show you what I've been doing here. Out in the middle of the lake here, there's this big bed of weeds growing up here and I've been just casting alongside it there's a channel that goes through it I caught a couple one of one of the ones that were in here and there and uh yeah it's been very productive so far so I'm gonna keep hitting it till I get to the other side I guess this is just gonna be a new trend when I go on trips now I always have to catch a massive perch <laughs> this guy oh this one's gonna go back though don't hook yourself again. Come on. That's a real big perch, though. That's crazy. Well, as we're getting later in the day here, I didn't catch anything else after that perch on Middle Saranac. So I'm going to start making my way towards Lower Saranac now. I'm going to have to go through the lock, so that should be pretty cool. And I'm uh, huh, just going to slowly make my way there, cast and fish all through the Saranac River here along the way. See if we can find anything.
Welcome to the sauna. Yeah. Right. Much better than yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a blowout. That was rough. I paddled in from Upper Saranac, too, in it. Oh, wow. In Bartley Carey? Yep. I mean, I started in Long Lake. Yeah, you're on one of those? Yeah. Yeah, you had a rough one. Yeah, a little bit this week. That'll make for a good memory. Yeah, it rained a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just glad I brought the tent instead of the hammock to sleep in this time. Yeah. I usually hammock can. Okay. I don't know what made me bring the tent, but I'm glad I did. So you had to fly and you're undercover. Yeah. to Lower Saranac. That was pretty cool going through the lock there. I uh, I tried fishing back here in Loon Bay for a bit. I didn't get anything. I briefly on the very outside of the bay had a bass on, jumped out of the water and spit the whopper plopper out. I've been back here trolling and trying to throw out a map spinner. Nothing. It's probably just too hot, too middle of the day, too bright. So, I'm gonna go find my campsite, make a little lunch, get camp set up, and then uh, then we'll see what's going on tonight. A lot of activity out here on this lake, as I'm sure you can hear and see. A lot of boats going around. Hey, we got something here. Oh man, the camera's facing the wrong way. Oh man, I think this is a pike. I really think this is a pike. It slammed that. Oh my god, I think it's a crappie. Oh, and he got off. Oh man. I think I had a black crappie on there. Man, I really thought that was a pike. The way he was fighting and shaking. And the fact that he hit this. Oh, that got me so excited. That pole bent backwards. Man, I somehow just missed something on the, uh, on the same line that got that crappie there. It had to have been even bigger. That pole actually really doubled back over for a second. It was bobbing hard. It's like I'm just being toyed with at this point. Give me a pie! I got something good on. I can tell. That was... This has got to be a pike. Come on. What else fights like that? This is a northern pike, for sure. Walleye, maybe? What is this? Digging. Oh, that's a good northern. That's a good northern pike. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a big northern pike, man. Holy cripes. I tried to revive him, but he won't swim away. He's just flailing. His, he sucked it in so deep, it ripped his gills to hell on this side. You can see they're sticking out. I know a pike this big isn't usually that great for eating, but I can't, I can't in good conscience just throw it back and, sw and paddle away watching it, watching it flop on the surface.
It just floats there. It just floats upside down. I gotta, I gotta get to my campsite and dispatch him and clean him up. I hate to do that to such a big pike. That's awful, but I, I, it's kind of my fault. I don't. I, I guess the net fell out of the boat at some point. But even with the net, it's so big. I don't know if I would have. I don't know if I would have even been able to do anything with the net. I clearly need longer needle nose pliers. I had to stick my hand so deep in there into his mouth to get the lure out. It flailed around in the boat. There's blood everywhere. So I got my wish with a little bit of a bittersweet taste to it at the end, which I guess is how it goes, huh? I guess maybe it just needed a little more time because it just broke itself off of my stringer somehow. I don't even know how the clasp opened. I had that shut. I don't see it floating. I mean, I literally just saw it and heard it happen. I guess, I guess it just needed more time. It swam away. Oh, that's good. That was way too much pike for me to eat. That was that would have been a lot of fish. That was a big fish. That was awesome. Let's go check out that campsite. What the hell? Someone left a tarp here, I guess? And a bag of firewood? What the hell? Why would you do this? Why would you leave this? Yeah, I just got back out here. And I'm gonna start out by throwing the old whopper plopper around these islands here. See how that goes. And after that, maybe troll around and see if we can find another one of those pike. But, uh, yeah. Today's turned out to be a great day. I'm so glad I got to dry out all my stuff. Uh, it's been sunny, beautiful. It's great. How's that for a largemouth bass? Some real size on that guy. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that attacked the Whopper Blubber. Beautiful morning. 
Ugh. Hate, hate when a trip is ending like this. It's that same feeling I had at the end of the last section, where I'm like, oh, I could do another week, I could do another month. But, you gotta go home at some point. Done with breakfast, done cleaning up, time to get back in the water. It's about 8.30 now, just give me plenty of time to fish and meet up with Stephanie on time and hopefully not have a repeat of Long Lake where she's waiting for me for hours. I got a real good head start and no carries ahead of me, I think, so I say I think because my map mentions paddlers portaging around the lower locks, but from what I've read, you can totally go in on with a canoe, so I guess we'll find out. Off we go, though. I seriously doubt the camera can see it, but in that tallest tree right there, uh, just a little bit down from the top, there is a big giant eagle in there. He just flew up there. I could see the white of his head and kind of his body. I know exactly where to look, but uh, oh, that's amazing. That's so cool. It says for canoes and kayaks to use the carry, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do here. Ugh, it goes right uphill. I don't know what's up with that clamp on yoke, but uh, I cannot get it to go on right now. And this carry's so short, I figured with the amount of time it would take me to try to get that on there and mess with it, I could probably just do this. Off we go! I am definitely way ahead of Stephanie. I talked to her. I'm gonna get there way before her, which is fine. Just do some fishing. Man, that is so cool. That looks awesome. That is the end of section two. That was awesome. <laughs>